Well, hello, my beautiful faces. You already know it's your girl, Prophetess Queen X, okay? So for those of you who are viewing me for the first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm going to do that introduction one more time because my screen just did something and I'm not sure if it picked it up, okay? So welcome, welcome, welcome. What's going on, my beautiful faces, okay? You already know it's your girl, Prophetess Queen X, okay? So those of you, for, for those of you who is this your first time viewing me, welcome. Okay, I am the prophetess. Um, I am a manifestor, all right? And um, I help people along their spiritual journey in their lives and careers, okay? And so this year, I've been focusing on the woman um, behind my businesses. I own a corporation called Business Now, RBA Incorporated, which has smaller entities underneath of it in various uh, different industries, okay? And so um, for the past... <laughs> For the past eight years, I have been that woman um, behind the business, just just laying the foundation of these um, entities and the corporation and building partnerships and relationships, um, finding what works and what doesn't, finding who works and who doesn't. Um, and so this year, it was all about the woman behind the business. It, it, it was the businesses are still operating. They're still going to do what they're doing. Um, they they are in a nesting stage as well and operating as they should with the current customers and things that's going on. Um, but ultimately, me, Queen X, I have stepped and fell face first into who God has created me to be, not what he's created me to do, but who he's created me to be, okay? And I definitely look at that spirit as a... Um, as a uh, male energy. Um, so yes, I said he, all right? Because I am the female, okay? I am that I am. But today I'm on Manifesting Monday, okay? I wanted to, because here in the collective, we kind of moved away from the, uh, you know, foundational building 101. We're in 102, okay? Um, and what 102 is all about is becoming in, becoming in alignment with your 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 desires the desires of your heart um versus what you feel like you got to do okay um and so what that means in a spiritual context is living out your soul purpose versus your life purpose so i think uh i think it was the last formal manifesting monday video that i d did with you guys um we were talking about your life purpose versus your soul purpose and so what we identified is that your soul purpose is your your ultimate desire and your life purpose is the life that you were living and the challenges and the blessings and the curses that came up against you to give you a better idea of where you wanted to go, okay? So today, here on Manifesting Mondays with Prophetess Queen X, all right, we're going to be talking about getting in alignment, okay? Because what I've come to realize and um, what, what, what I've, you know, taught a number of my clients over the years is that... It, it's, we don't seek balance when it comes down to um, living our lives and careers and being there for our family and friends and, you know, what have you. It's not balance that we are supposed to be seeking. We are supposed to be seeking alignment, being in alignment, um, considering those things. Because let me explain to you, um, balance is just like what you think it is. It's balancing. Okay, you're on a balance beam. You're trying to make everything have equal time and space to one another. Um, realistically, that's not going to happen. Realistically, you cannot do that. Realistically, you don't even want to do that when once you start to think about it a little bit better in this context. Okay, and so because the reason why you don't want to do that is because the same time and energy and and emotion that you put into work. You are not going to put that into your family. The same time, energy, emotion, you're not. And, and if you were balancing out your time and your space, then that's exactly what you'll be doing. You'll be given the same time and emotion at work as if you're given the same time and emotion at home. But that's not what we're supposed to be doing. We are supposed to be in alignment with work and home. And what alignment means is that we give just enough that, that the business needs just enough that our brand needs to be nurtured and to grow and to, and to, you know, and to operate just enough, whatever it takes, you give it that. Okay. 
and then you give home what it needs and what it takes. You give it that, just enough. And when I say just enough, it doesn't mean that you can't go over and beyond. You can't do something extra special. That's not what I'm saying, fam. What I want you to realize about that is that you have to be careful about how much more you pour into something. Okay, regardless if it's going to make somebody happy or not, you have to be 100% careful. And you also have to make sure that you create a future space for yourself to regain the energy that you, the extra energy that you put out towards that particular situation in your life or career. But ultimately, I want you to unlearn being balanced in life. You balance your energies. That's all you balance. You balance your energies. You do not balance your time and your space and your attentiveness. You, you don't balance that. You have alignment in that. You balance your energies out. Thus, your chakras and your stones and everything like that that we've been talking about. Um, you know, that type of thing. So I hope I hope that that helps you a little bit. Okay. Um, in the beginning of this, in, in the beginning of this video. Um, next, I wanted to talk about time. Okay, I want to talk about time because we are time. Okay, we, 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 us here in the collective, we've been so focused on, um, for over the years, we've been focused on the time. We're missing the time. The time is against us. You know what I mean? Um, I got to go fast because I only have a little bit of time, um, to do this and accomplish this. Um, Ultimately, let me tell you where you're right at, okay? Because blessings do pass you by. Opportunities do pass you by, okay? But that is when you're operating from a spirit of procrastination. You understand what I'm saying? It's, it's, not, that, it's not that the time just didn't add up for you. It's because something, whether, whether you can see it or whether you can't, something is attacking the way that you are going about this situation as it considers the time frame you have to accomplish, okay? Because you are time. You are time. And when you're operating in, 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 a, in a balanced energy and in a state of alignment, you will be able to identify that. So you don't have to rush and do and complete and, and do all of those things. You can move in peace. You can move in, in clarity. You can move in focusedness. You can move without all of that weight on you, okay? When you're operating in your time. The time. You understand what I'm saying? Because time really is infinite. You understand what I'm saying? And only situations have time frames and due dates and all of those particular things. So if you're being conscious about what you're focusing your energy on, and then you're being aware of alignment, okay? I can't balance this out right here, but I can be in alignment. I can give you what I got, okay? And you're saying all of this from your core. You're not, listen, you're not snatching at all. Even listen, we're not lying to we passed the point where we lie to ourselves and we lie to somebody else. We're not lying to nobody. You understand what I'm saying? The collective, like um this morning, um uh I was uh in a session with um mindset and um um Starcy Mahatma and uh they were talking about how you know the collective is in a season of being washed. Like we listen, you catch me on the wrong time and the wrong day, you might get cut stop the day and it be it all being all love. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? You be there, you may think I'm saying some crazy stuff, but that's because I'm tired and I'm being washed and I don't know what's going on sometimes. And and listen, I gotta hold on. You feel what I'm saying? Back up, give me 50 feet. Um, but that all goes into this this motion that we're in. So if you can if you can release, if you can release that worldly idea of um time being against you, then you will have greater success. And, and the things that you set out to do um, with knowing that you are time and in your state of righteousness, in your state of, in your state of, um, you know, knowing this and being aware, being conscious, real. You got to be real with yourself and examine the situation from the outside. You understand what I'm saying? This is really as it gets with you. You have to be the foundation of how you're going to uh, live your life. Okay. You shouldn't be living your life on anybody else's terms. You should be living them on yours. And hopefully they are amazing terms. They are some terms, even if you can't accomplish them or reach them right now or be satisfactory, satisfactory, satisfactory in the terms right now. It's something that you're working towards type of terms. Okay. And, um, but just all in all, you are time. So you set the time frame. You give yourself the idea of when you want to accomplish this particular goal. 
and in your righteousness and in your power to understand who you are and what you can do through your affirmations and your manifestation powers, you begin to create a plan, right? We know in spirit that nothing happens effectively without a plan. Now, you can plan for yourself and you say, I expect this thing to go this particular type of way. And then spirit takes it and you're, not, you're like, I don't even know what God is doing. Those situations are going to happen. But even if you plan for that type of situation, you still are planning divinely. So you still have all, all control of this time situation. So that's why it's important to check yourself first. That's why it's important to you know, allow yourself space and opportunity to get to know yourself, to, to, to have a bit of challenges and work yourself through them in a way where you are learning lessons and not considering yourself having bad luck or, you know, oh, the world is against me or that ain't fair. The wrong people always get, you know, but they supposed to, no, don't, don't view it from that way, collective. We ain't doing that no more, okay? We're going over here into the new world and uh, regardless if we are 100% where we desire to be, we are going to begin to think in that mindset so we can begin to manifest, okay? That type of energy, that type of ability, that type of reverence in your life, you got to hold yourself accountable. I'm just here. I'm just the vessel. I'm just a messenger. I'm here to encourage you. Anything that I say during these Manifesting Mondays or when I'm doing live, whatever I'm doing and I'm coming here in front of you, it's, I'm not saying it because I believe you don't know it. I'm not. I don't care if you never spoke it a, a day before in your life. I'm not here because I think you don't know it. I'm here to edify or confirm or, or, or uh, yes, confirm a prophecy within you. Because here in the collective, we're all connected to one mind. It's all about how we operate through our, our vessels to accomplish what it is the spirit world has told us that we're destined to do. So in order to receive that, that function and, and breed a result, it starts with you, all right? And so uh, being in alignment and owning the time and the space that we have for ourselves, they are ultimately important to manifesting our desires, okay? Our ultimate desires. And so... Today, before I got started, I was talking to um, Spirit, and I was like, hey, help me um, figure out how to incorporate this whole Manifesting Monday with, you know, you guys knowing full-fledged about Zabi the Prophet, and how do I do this, God? And it started the other day when I made a post, and I said, hey, listen, I am here to help people in their lives and careers. However, let me be more transparent this time, because I've been saying that forever. But however, let me be more transparent this time and let you guys know this is a prophetic experience. This is a spiritual experience. Not only do I know how to help you because of the information that you give me, but I know how to help you because of the divine message I have received from the spiritual world about you. About you and your journey spiritually. Not what you've been trying to accomplish out here in the world, but the destiny that you have in front of you. That's what I do. I'm not just a regular human resource uh, representative. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not just a regular um, digital talk show host. I'm not just a, I'm not just a consultant. I'm not just any of that. I'm, I'm spiritually gifted and spiritually guided. And so when you come to me and it's, it's a whole experience. And so I want you to be able to cultivate that supernatural ability within yourself and bring it forth in a, in, in, in a conventional way, whatever you've been doing, Whatever you've been doing, you can allow your supernatural abilities to flow through that vessel in that particular way. And that's what we're talking about here today. So let's get into this whole thing about being in alignment when it comes down to your life and career. Okay. Um, something heavy that has been in the air is people um, having a desire to leave um, their job or leave um, situations that have them bonded career-wise, okay? That has been in the air heavy. And, you know, when I speak on those particular things, I, listen, I had to learn from experience a few years ago. Not everybody is ready for that conversation, okay? And way back then, I wasn't clear on who I was speaking to. I was like, I'm here for everybody. No, I'm not. I'm for the collective, okay? And because, and I say that because when you know, my response to that is, do you really believe that you should leave your job? 
My response to that is, have you taken some time to think about what you are purpose to do, what, you're, what, you, what you feel passionate to do? And is it, is it a smart situation? We're going back to those acronyms we learned a long time ago. Is it specific? Is it measurable? Is it attainable? Is it realistic? Okay. Is it timely? Can you do it in a timely manner? But now when we view that SMART acronym, we're not viewing it from a worldly perspective. We're viewing it from the spirit collective. And when you view it from the spirit, okay, that means you already challenged and mixed up the chemicals inside of you. Your DNA is already, you got your, your righteousness activated. Your inner spirit is activated. And so when you ask yourself that question, the answer is going to be what you expected. Yes, I can. I can do anything I put my mind to. Because you already know it's realistic. You already know all I got to do is put a time frame to it. You already know it's attainable. You already know it's relevant. You already know. You already know. You're specific. Only, maybe that's the last thing you got to do is write it down. Us in the collective, we have a hard time writing down. Majority of us, we have a hard time writing it out. We're like, I got it in my head. Write it out, collective. So more stuff can come in your head. Okay? But ultimately, that's that you, you there. So once you once you once you ask yourself those ask yourself those questions about leaving your job or whatever you do conventionally and 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 you feel it create a conflict inside of you. Not all conflicts are bad. You understand what I'm saying? Sometimes the spirit will put a conflict inside of you to make you choose sides and convict yourself. Okay? You be like, uh-uh, cause see, you know what? If I you know what? Think about if I had if you had the opportunity to do, what would you do? That's it right there. If you knew, this is this is how I introduce this to my clients. If you had the opportunity, let's just speak hypothetically, had the opportunity to do whatever it is you wanted to do in your life that brings you joy, that helps individuals, okay? And your bills was taken care of, because that's our number one problem, collective. Let's be honest. And I got to make sure I got some money. I got kids to take care of. Oh, oh my God, what you talking about? No, can't be broke, bro. That's our, that's our problem, collective. So let's get that out of the way. If your bills were taken care of, your kids were taken care of, your family, your friends, whatever you want to take care of with your money, if they were taken care of, what would be the number one thing or two or three? Because I got four operating at one time. Uh, what would it be for you? You understand what I'm saying? What would that be? And be honest. And no matter how crazy it sounds or to that group of people, it looks like a hobby or no matter what it is, what is that for you? Because ultimately, that, that, that's what you were purpose to do. That's what you were passionate, that you're passionate about doing it. And that's where your abundance is going to come from. So once you've gathered that information and you have a good idea, not saying that you got to know it from A to Z at the moment you think about it. You feel what I'm saying? But give yourself a time frame. Work on it a little bit, little bit by little bit every day for a couple hours or what have you. Set your plan. Do it right. But ultimately, I want you to think about that thing right there, write it down, and then come back to this part, okay? Because then we start to think about, well, how am I going to leave my job? You plan for it. You plan for it, collective, okay? And when you plan for it, ultimately, you're saying, I got faith that this is going to happen. See, this is you speaking and operating from your inner spirit. We're not talking about speaking and operating from the world or from fear. We're not talking about that. We're talking about speaking and operating from your inner self, your faith, because faith without work is dead. You understand what I'm saying? So if you got faith and you've been thinking about some stuff and you you, you got, listen, you, you got all this fam in your in your own space but when it's time to produce and put it out you're like i don't know about that but in your own space you're like because i can do that what you talk about now it's time to project that now it's time to put that into the universe and you you, you think about the space how long do you need what type of money do you need to leave your job and then you start adding up the weeks or the months and you say okay well i'm gonna leave on that date and you better be ready to leave because let me tell you something the worst thing in the world is to be convicted you re-ask the question, you make a plan for the situation you're going into, and then you renege. That's the worst thing in the world. That's a sin. That's a sin. Because you not knowing and you not being convicted, you can't be hold, it can't be held accountable for that. That fools and babies. Protect it. Remember that? You understand what I'm saying? You ultimately a fool if you don't really know. You feel what I'm saying? Now, 
when you do know, that's different. You that different. You better stop. You better stop playing. You if you know that you know that you know you know you are already convicted. So you make the plan to get up out of there. Okay, collective. And so once you make that plan, you stick to that date and you leave. And as you that's the that's one side of it. On the other side of it, you you know what you got going on. You you know how you got to feed this plant. Uh, you know how you know everything you got to do. You you should be planning. That's why we talked about planning first. You got a good idea. And so as you're doing this, okay, you getting ready to leave the job. You over here and you giving that the, your your passion and your purpose what it needs. And you giving this job what it needs to sustain you. And so you leave it. You understand what I'm saying? But you gotta go. You gotta go. Amongst all of that is your time. Let's go back to that time. What does your time look like? Your desired lifestyle. How do you want your life to operate? Not saying, not saying sometimes you might have to go outside of it. Some it went crazy today. The kids then got on your nerves a little bit more. Maybe you don't want to go outside today. I don't know. You're not having a good day. You need to stay in the house and recharge today. Okay, cool. Uh, after all of that is considered. Let's talk about your ultimate desire of what you want your day-to-day to to look like. Because I I promise to you, I lie to you now, how I operate in my life right now on a day-to-day basis, three years ago, I made the decision. It probably, no, it's like five, yeah, like five years ago, I made the decision. I was like, listen, if I'm going to do this, if I'm going to, entrepreneurship in the beginning, if I'm going to do this entrepreneurship, I need time and space to do it. I would never be able to, um, Realize what I really can do if I have all of these other things in in my space. You'll never be able to realize what you really can do until you jump. You got a free flow to realize how you can fly. You understand what I'm saying? So you have to make a plan about what your desired day looks like. I want to wake up at six, seven o'clock in the morning. You know what I'm saying? If if you got if you got younger kids, you're gonna be working from whatever your case may be. Maybe you want to be able to cook breakfast. Maybe you want to be able to meditate. Maybe whatever. I'm talking about everything from the rooter to the tutor. You got to spell it out. You got to visualize it for it to happen. And then around lunchtime, I want to do. Uh, 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 let me see. Yep, yep. All right, cool. And then I want to be back in the house and help the kids with homework, if that's you. I want to be able to cook dinner or whatever the case may be. I don't know, fam. I might want to work out a little bit, you know. I want to holler at Shaw that little bit right there. And then I want to be in the bed by 9, 10 so I can get a good rest. Probably don't go to sleep, but I want to lay. You feel me? You have to see it to believe it. You have to not believe it to see it. That ain't uh-uh. No, the spirit canceled that out a few weeks ago. You don't have to believe it to see. You got to see that already to believe it. Oh, I can do that. I seen it already. That's what it looked like. I see myself doing that. Okay. All right, cool, cool. Because manifestation is all about affirmations, visualizations, and then it manifests. You understand what I'm saying? You have to affirm it, see it, and then it's there it go. There it go, there. You feel what I'm saying? So that's why you got to see it to believe it. So in order to create the life that you desire to have, right now, you sitting right here, right now, you like, I got all of this inside of me. And I just want to, I got to release this so bad. And I don't know what is keeping me from releasing this thing the way that I want to release it. I don't know what it is. It's you. It's you. It's you. Sometimes you got to sit I was just talking about this today. Profiting Your Purpose is coming out. That's my book, Profiting Your Purpose. Okay? And one of the chapters in Profiting Your Purpose talks about persistence versus patience. Okay? And persistence versus patience. Patience, we have been we have been taught that patience uh, means to sit and do nothing. Just wait. Be patient. Do nothing. Wait, bruh. Hold. Be patient. No. That's not what patience is for the collective. You don't do nothing in your patience collective, okay? You are still persistent in certain energies like joy, faith. You understand what I'm saying? Balancing your energy, meditation. You are still persistent in that. You are still persistent persistent in your affirmations. You are still persistent in your energies collective. So you have to be persistent and patient. So therefore, in the book, Profiting Your Purpose, I talk about 
persistence versus patience so we can understand them too and how to operate in alignment with them both because we need them we that normal you're not normal collective no you're not you're not you're not going to be normal <laughs> okay so you might as well so i stopped stepping into that supernatural ability you got going on and asking the universe to give you what you need to be responsible with it because that's what it, that's all it is at this point we have to know what to do with the abundance that's getting ready to show its face to us. Because a few weeks ago, I, I've been ta I started talking about the abundance being in the room. Okay, and so in order to in order for the abundance to start popping up from underneath the couches and underneath the rug and all that type of stuff, you have to know what to do with the abundance. So that's number one in this in this patient season that we're going into. You have time to activate, create a plan about what to do with the abundance. You have time while the world is still figuring out what it's doing. I don't know what the world is doing. I know what the collective need to be doing. That's my business right now, y'all. Excuse me if I offended anybody in politics or anywhere else. I'm not concerned. Okay? Y'all ain't got no heaven, no hell to put me in. I don't, it ain't even one for real. I create my own. Get on my face. You feel what I'm saying, collective? Okay? Get on your shit. It's time for it. Get on your shit, collective. Okay? Because them people don't got nothing for us. All we need to do is know, is know where not to send our people to. We need to know where not to go. And I, your spirit will tell you that. So all in all, we winning. Turn off the TV. Get off the news. You know enough. You know exactly what you need to know. Now it's, start, and now it's time to start applying the work. Applying your energy work. Applying the plan for, for your manifestation, for your abundance. Now it's time to start activating in that direction. We don't got time to be focusing on what they talk about. You want to get out there and vote, make your vote count. Go ahead and vote, make your vote count, baby. But come right back into your own sacred space and continue doing what it is you got going on. Because for real, for real, I'm not too sure about what they're doing with the old absentee balancing and electrical stuff and all that. They don't even, it's the liability. Liability. <laughs> That's how I feel. Liability, but I digress. Uh, and it's important for you to plan your alignment. Okay? So you gotta look, you gotta know what your days look like from day to day. You got to. You got to. On Tuesday and Wednesdays is when I do my most consulting. I mean Tuesday and Thursday. On Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, that's when I'm more hands-on, like you see me now. You know what I'm saying? So you you have to have that idea. What do you do on the weekends? Plan out every single day. Plan out every single day from a place of righteousness, from a place of divinity, from a place of this is how I'm going to accomplish my goals and be here for my friends and have some me time. You got to incorporate all of those things. None of that is being selfish at all because people are going to need you and you are not going to be any good if you're unhappy where you are because you're there because of somebody else. You're not going to be any good if you're tired and your energy is all imbalanced and you don't know what you got going on and you feel like time's still good. You ain't going to be any good. You'll be frustrated even if you do got a lot of money from your conventional job or whatever it is that you're doing and you don't want to do it. Even if you do got a whole lot of money, you still going to, when the money comes, you're going to, it's temporary, temporary happiness, temporary joy, temporary. And, and when I say temporary, sometimes being the same day because the money going quite fast. You feel what I'm saying? So it's best that you, you operate from your purpose. It's best that you operate from your passion. I promise that you're going to make more. You gonna, Abundance is not just monetary either. It's not just monetary. It's materialized. It's energy. It's, it, listen, I was wealthy. I'm wealthy before the abundance even came. After my situation, I crawled myself out of my challenge and my struggle and all of that stuff that was trying to kill me, okay, I became rich in my soul first. I was prosper in my soul first. I ain't have a penny in my pocket. You, <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? It starts from the inside out. All right? So you got to plan that thing. You got to see what it looks like. You, you are time. So create the time around you. You have everything that you need because you already operate from a place of righteousness. You have righteousness in you. That's why people were praying on you for so long. Because they knew that you were a good person at heart. They know that you're going to forgive them. They already know. That's why. So you use that inside of you. You don't second guess yourself. If you know that you're coming from a place of righteousness and this thing is for me and I feel purposed about it, it might sound crazy. Matter of fact, when I look at it from over here, it do look kind of crazy. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. I'm going to make the plan to be successful anyway is what you say to yourself, collective. 
And then you tell them people get back. And you don't leave it. I, I had a, listen, I had a client once before who quit the job. They didn't, they didn't put the two weeks notice in. And I don't, listen, being a human resource, this is when the 10 by 10% human come out. Being a human resource, don't do that to the people. Get them a two weeks notice. Let them try to fill your space. That's all that's about. You not saying that, you know, you not counting on the two weeks. You not, it's, the two weeks doesn't affect you. It's to make sure that you have good karma. Okay, because karma is all, karma ain't all about the bad stuff you put in, put out. Karma about the good stuff you put out there too. Okay, so you don't want to leave the people all back because you don't found your purpose. Now you like forget yours. <laughs> no. <laughs> don't do them people like that, collector. So let's do things right. Okay, let's do it right all around the board. Like so, we can have good karma all around the board. Because if you anything like me at this point in life, the, Ash, uh, the, uh, the Akashic records have made its balance in my life. Yes, balance in life. That energy source, karma is energy. You put out what you get back. That's energy. You feel what I'm saying? So it's balance, okay? Trying to, trying to be in places and operate in places. That's alignment, all right? But your energy source is balance. So I don't know. If you like me, everything I do, like it don't matter. What I do come back to me. I stopped doing bad stuff a long time ago, years ago. Okay, I stopped lying. I ain't cheat. I don't want to. If I don't, if I'm not sure, even if I'm not sure, I'd be like, I'm not sure. I mean, <laughs> because I realized karma was coming at me so fast, like I'll receive it right back. And so, if you're anything like me, you got to put the energy out there. You got to put your energy out there. You have to. You got to. Steve Harvey used to say, "Jump, jump. You got to jump." Okay, so. The pro that, that's the message to be in alignment, to prepare yourself for the ascension and what you got going on. You know what I'm saying? I need to be more intentional with my day. Yeah, intentional. There you go, Trina. Ch Ch I hope I said your name right because it's two ends, girl. But that's intentional is it. That's it. The intentional energy that you put into anything will guarantee its success. Right along with the faith in the work. But if you, you have the faith in the work. So we ain't talking about the 100 and 101 stuff. We in 102, okay? So you got to be intentional. You got to be with everything. And I guarantee, I guarantee it's going to manifest. It, it may not happen when you want it to, when your flesh want it to. But your spirit going to understand. Your spirit always does understand the challenging things when they happen for your good, right or wrong. Your spirit always understand. You may be crying your ass out, but your spirit be like, you'll be all right. You'll be like, I thought it would be all right, but I ain't all right now. Like, hey, you know what I'm saying? So, so, so be intentional. Absolutely, sis. Absolutely. And so the prophetic word uh, for today, um, it's, it stems from being in alignment and it stems from being, knowing that you are time and you have the ability to create it. Um, the universe The universe wants you to know that it is at your feet. Um, anything that you desire at this point, collective, because you're responsible, you've proven it. Mm, 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 mm. You're so responsible that you need some extra help. You need some extra help to be able to help the people that you want to help because your responsibility places you in a situation where you feel like you have to mother or father in a certain type of way. And so you just want to give them what they need. You just want to give it to them. And you know from experience that you can't give everybody everything they need right away. Everything they want right away. So that's the part of the responsibility and the abundance that, that the Spirit is talking about. Try, having to educate you on responsibility as it goes along with abundance and, and you dispersing it out. But ultimately, ultimately, the universe wants you to know that the abundance is at your feet. Your desire is at your feet. Whatever you ask me, I want to give it to you. Only thing I want you to do is do what you were purpose to do. Prove. Prove to the world. Prove to the world that I live inside of you and that you are a God. Because you are. You are. And the universe is saying that all you have to do is plan for a 12 month plan just came into my head. we received that card on a general reading last week. Plan for it, plan for it. That's all you have to do, plan for it. I had a client last week and we were talking about systems. 
she she had all of these things and, and me too we're all we're all the collective all of us we're all in this situation where we got these things and we just trying to put them in place we like okay should i go i'm not sure i don't know because last time oh i don't know ah that's what we are in the collective but the universe is like no this time no for real i i know i know i know it'd be kind of hard but this time go like <laughs> this time to do it this time to do it so i'm telling you that the abundance is the, the abundance that's in the room. It will appear once we put that plan into that. That's the prophecy. It will appear once we put that plan into place. We believe it and we operate through it. No matter, no matter if no one is looking. No matter if anybody is looking that we can see. It's always somebody watching us. It's always somebody lurking on your page. That's why. That's why you can't. You can't. You can't, you always got to be ready so you won't have to get ready because the spirit is going to need you all the time. All the time. You never know. You never know. So you have to prepare yourself for that type of situation. But the abundance is in the room and the universe is asking you, what is your desire? What is your desire? And you probably were thinking like, I don't even, from that desire, like I got to get this out of the way. I need to make time for this. Like, I don't even have enough time. Yes, you do because you are time. Plan for it. That's all you got. It's so easy for the collective right now because we're not just called, we chosen. So like I mentioned a few weeks ago, we don't have no choice. So if you think about that thing from the opposite side, if I don't have no choice to do something, if I don't have no choice to do it, you got to know, you got to know you're protected on the other, other side of that thing, however it go. If you have no choice, you have no choice, you really think the universe gonna leave you dangling? If you don't have no choice, if your spirit is pushing you regardless, you really think the universe is going to leave you dangling. It's not. You're just scared, fam, because you've been dangling before. That's it. Let's call it. Let's, let's say what it is. You're just scared, fam, because the wrong people that took advantage of you before. You feel what I'm saying? You're just scared, fam, because the first time you launched it, it won't really successful. Well, let's be honest, because you had to, you had to go back, cross the T's and dot some eyes, didn't it? Had to go back and revamp some things, didn't it? So ultimately, it was working for your good. Let me tell you something. It, it, it's not over till it's good. And the spirit is saying that all you have to do is announce your desire. It's, it don't come. Don't even think about coming small to me. I don't see you as this small individual. I don't. Your, your desire ain't too big for me. For me, no. Your desire not too big for the spirit. You better come hard or don't come at all that's what it's all about you have step you're gonna fail you gotta go full force the only way you're gonna fail if, is if you create failure it's what the spirit is saying tell me your desire i will help you create the plan then we move forward it's what the spirit is saying the stones that um, come up in this uh, Manifest of Monday today is the um, Rose Court. I got one. If you don't have one, go and get you one. If you need one, I'll get you one. Get your Rose Court. Rose Quartz. Um, they signify Rose Quartz. They signify your um, universal love. And it restores the truth, the trust, and the harmony in relationships. Um, it encourages unconditional love. It purifies and opens the hearts at all levels to promote love, self-love, friendship, deep inner healing, and feelings of peace. Um, so, that, I mean, that makes perfect sense of what the Spirit told me to tell you that, to get you a rose quartz, okay? And also, the cycle of life energy symbol that was brought to me this morning is the, um, is, I wish I had some to, I'm in my Reiki book. I'm a, I'm a Reiki master healer as well. Let me see if I can. Uh, where you at? There you go right there okay so this is the symbol for today all right and it says draws and feminine feminine energy to balance male and feminine energies okay receptive force draws yes okay so the stones did you see the stones it is a uh uh-huh it is a selenite bloodstone moonstone turquoise amnesite okay so once again, go get your stones. If you need a stone, let me know and you can purchase it from me, whatever the case may be. But so the energy, let me let me explain to you what the feminine energy is. Uh, divine feminine and divine masculine energies 
we all possess them, men and women. Men possess feminine energy and women possess masculine energy. However, there can be an imbalance. Um, and the imbalance stems from, and, and women in particular, I think I can make the best example from the women's example, right? Because women in particularly, um, if you're a single mom, um, if you're the breadwinner in the house, you know, you have developed a strong masculine, divine masculine energy. Um, masculine energy is very on the land. It's very like, gotta get this done, I'ma do it. You know, it's, it's more knowledge based versus wisdom. And you know, it's real go hard. And, and I'm be transparent. What I realized within myself is that coming out of that struggle and the challenge that um, me and my family was in, once I had a chance to like kind of relax from it, I was like, oh man, I'm super duper hard. Like, oh my God. Like I just, I feel, I feel like, I feel like a dude, you know what I'm saying? Like I had to go so hard, man. And I started focusing on getting back into kids boot camp. I started focusing on my sacred sexy. I started focusing on my divine feminine energy so I can snap back because it's, it's not that I don't want, it's not that you don't want one energy more than the other. The, the the idea is to have them balanced. Remember, energy balances and where you are physically, that's alignment. So, you, But your energy balances. You understand what I'm saying? So it's important to have your feminine, your masculine and your feminine, feminine energies at a balance. And so that life cycle energy symbol is what you can be focusing on. Okay? Look up life cycle. Can you see it? Life cycle energy symbols. I'm not here to just give you information that you can't find on your own. I want you to be the best that you can be for yourself. You're not supposed to have to seek anybody, you know, for, for guidance. But sometimes we fall into these situations where we need our collective partners to help us out a little bit. So that's what I'm here to do. All right. Uh, so that's the symbol right there. And like I said, um, the spirit said, get yourself a, um, uh, what I say, rose quartz. Okay. That definitely happens. Rose quartz look like that. If you need a, if you need an idea of the different rocks, um, stones that you may need in your sacred space or to keep on your person, then you can come meet with me. I have I have like over 50 stones for you to look at and we can talk about them. And I can definitely help you out with different things that you can do to self-heal yourself. And then you can take those um those lessons and help heal other people as well, okay? Like I said, I'm not trying to keep this knowledge to myself. I'm not, the spirit not going to kill me. And you're not supposed to keep the knowledge to yourself, okay? You're supposed to be careful who you disperse it to, but I'm talking to my collective, and I bind up anybody else to try to use it in a negative way. Okay, also, before I let you go, uh, I'm going to read some cards, all right? But you got the prophetic word. You got all that stuff. Okay, so I want you to start identifying your sun, moon, and rising, okay? It's important. It's important to have a better um, um, idea of how you tick and talk, okay? So if you don't know what the sun, moon, and rising is, uh, I'm going to challenge you to do your research yourself, okay? You type in your birthday, you type in the time you were born, um, and then you you can go on Google and type in your birthday, time you were born, and say sun, moon, rising. And then you'll find some research on your sun, moon, and rising. So let's talk a little bit about the sun. All right, so your sun, your energy in the sun is going to um, tell you a lot about the day. It's about father, ego, goals, acts, vitality, identity, yang, wants, shine, the leader, okay? And then your moon, okay, the illusion, your emotions. It's night, mother, instincts, behavior, response, feelings, emotions, yin, needs, contains the people. Let me talk about feminine energy again, right? Because in feminine energy, feminine energy is more of your wisdom. Feminine energy is more of your manifestations. Feminine energy is just like a sound. It's just like a look. It's just like it's supposed to be. It's like it's going to happen. It's like because I do the work. It's because it's, it's like, what you worrying about it for? They, you, you prayed on it? You say affirmation? You doing work? It's going to happen. What you mean? Oh, then, no, it's cool. It's cool. We, we're just going to keep doing this work and it's going to happen. That's divine feminine energy the masculine energy me and my ba listen me and bae got a perfect balance because it's like you know okay I, I i'm always here in divinity i'm always here in the spirit and he's always like okay practicality is coming you need some practicality with the spirituality today let me help you out a little bit and that's exactly what it is practicality and spirituality when it's in a perfect balance you got your feminine and your masculine divine energies on point collective okay so and I do, um, I'm in a divine feminine fast right now. So if you want to, divine, 
Yes. Get it out your book bag, Trina. Put it on you. This um this time and this um because we're in the last quarter of the year, collective, okay? And so what the spirit has required us to do is to get the stones that we need and keep them on us and then get a piece of iron and keep it on you as well because our spirit is fighting spiritual battles. It's going to be a day where you'll be able to see it. Like it's going to be red outside. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's going to be like one of those crazy days. Um, I think it's going to be like in November or something. I'll get the correct date. Uh, I'm not sure. So I'll get the correct date for you later on. But keep them stones on you, sis. You seen where I pulled the rose cord from? My pocket. Okay? It got to be a part of your accessory every day. Because it's real out here in these streets. Um, like, I, like I was saying, I'm on a divine feminine fast. Okay? Uh, and so if you, and that's what, basically, that's what um, Kids Boot Camp is all about, too. That's my free program. Kids Boot Camp is a free program. The Kids Store is where I have all the stones and 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 and, and all your sacred tools, the sage and the Palo Santo sticks and and all of that great stuff is the store. Okay, the um, actual camp is free. Okay, whatever, whatever. Um, so the rising, all right. Your rising talks about your dawn, your birth, your persona, personality. It defends your environment, appearance, mask, actions, begins the pay, the place. Okay, and so I want you to identify that by just putting in your birth information and seeing what the universe has to tell you about your soul. Find out how you further tick and talk. Y'all ready for a reading? Uh oh. I think that was holding it up. Fix it. All right. Okay. Okay, I feel. Okay, so the spirit said pull one card from the moon. I'll just put the screen down a little bit. So the spirit said pull one card from the moon allergy. Y'all already had y'all prophetic reading. So let's take these cards a little bit to see what type of confirmations we can get or additional information. Um, every word that I receive come from, come from God, okay? I use these cards for additional entertainment and additional guidance because sometimes we need to see some stuff in order to believe it. And that's okay. That's how, that's how your counterparts in the collective are going to meet you halfway. We're going to understand sometimes you need to see some stuff to believe it and then you'll be fine after that sometimes it's like that and we hear from one another it doesn't mean that you don't believe it just means i needed a little bit more help okay to, to get it out so i'm gonna shuffle these cards really good Ooh. okay so two popped out see i be saying one god be <sighs> okay okay collector so we got a personal can you see it because it's kind of dark. It says a personal issue reaches a resolution. And that's a full moon in cancer. Okay. Lord, talking to me immediately. I know it's talking to me. If it resonates with you, go ahead and put it. And then this balsamic moon, it says it's a time for healing. Okay. So what's the overall outcome? You're like, okay, all right. The issue going to come to a revolution and I got to heal. But what's the outcome? So the overall outcome is on the bottom. And it says you're very close to achieving your goals. But we know that. We just... Spent the last minutes talking about that collective. We know that. So let's talk about what's actually happening and going on. What's going on in the full moon in Cancer? Okay. What's up? Y'all know a Cancer? Tell them we talking about them. Now nah, let me stop. <laughs> we not talking about you, Cancers. We not talking about you. I don't know. We might be. Now nah, let me stop. All right. So, um... A personal issue reaches a resolution. Things are likely to get very heated as a full moon in Cancer is a super emotional sign. So there could be something of an explosion of feelings around now or surrounding your question. It's important to be sensitive to other people when you pull this card. There are some very fine sensibilities around, so tread carefully as you move towards your goals or dreams. The spirits say don't hurt people's feelings. Okay? The spirits say don't hurt people's feelings because... You got to tie up some ends here, but you can tie them up and you can, you can let them go and you can put them in their place, but be choice with your words. Not, not mean what you say and say what you mean, but be choice with your words. Be careful because that karma is still out there. Remember, you got to have good karma. You don't want people, you want people to be choice with you. So be choice with people. You want people to be real and be choice though, you know? So you do the same thing. All right. So it says, it's also, it's also heralds the time to deal with a, any family issues coming up. It's nothing to worry about. 
it signals a challenge is now coming to an end, okay? This card also suggests that both is that both that domestic matter or a private issue will soon come to a head. And that is a great time to move house, okay? So the, the spirit is saying you're gonna have you're gonna be able to get yourself stable, restable by whatever this situation is in your life, okay? Whatever this means to you. Okay, the answer to your question lies in being a kind leader. So that goes right back into how we were talking about earlier. Like, no, like you gotta make sure you got good karma for you, baby. Okay? And then it says, um, this is the time for you to step up and agree to overcome your insecurities. Okay, now meditate to soothe and heighten emotions. Don't be clingy. Stop sulking. Okay, and it also asks you, have you had enough family time lately? Okay, so a personal issue reaches a resolution. Okay, you probably, somebody done said, because I foretell too. I don't know if it's one of y'all or if it's going to be somebody in the future, but somebody done said, I ain't got time to be dealing with them. Listen, just love on them a little bit. Because you, if you were being difficult, if you want that easy to get along with, you don't want somebody to deal with you just for a little bit. Just deal with me a little bit, please. And I know I get on your nerves, but just a little bit. So do the same thing for them, okay? And the spirit is saying, have a dinner. The spirit is saying, hey, just, and it's going to be weird. They're going to be like, oh, what they want. But but that ain't for, it's for your karma, collective. Okay, that's what we've been talking about. So we're going to look at this balsamic moon. Let's see. Balsamic moon. But Sonic Moon, I'm going to read from this book so we can have a deeper understanding. Yes. Hey, y'all, Jigga Man falling. Uh, uh, uh. Falling. Uh, uh. I don't know none of the words. All right. Page 38. I said I was going to put some little things on here to, like, help me out with the space. I ain't did it yet. I ain't did it yet. That's just something I said. I ain't playing for it. Ha! Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. Okay. So this says it's a time for healing and the balsamic moon. It says pulling this card suggests that the past is in the past and a bright future is beckoning. So listen, what's done has been done. Don't expect for this person to change any. They're going to stay the same for a while until they're ready to change. You understand what I'm saying? So that's why the karma makes sense. It makes sense when it talks about you fixing your part. It makes sense. Just fix your part because you got to worry about your karma. You can't worry about their karma no more. That's not your business, collective. That's not your business, fam. Okay? Now, however, before you take your next step, make sure that both of you feel the situation has been healed. Now, the spirit told me to identify heal. Whatever you have to say to a family member or friend, okay, the situation will be healed because you spoke on it. Now, they may feel a certain type of way. You know when you get a, a, a boo-boo or something, you hurt yourself, whatever the case may be. It's, it's it's going to be healed, but right now the shit hurt. You feel what I'm saying? So don't don't misconstrue that. Don't misconstrue that message. Still have to do it. It's going to hurt, maybe, and they're going to be healed from it later when they deal with it. Okay? That's not your business, though, collective. Mind, mind what's your business from here on out. And you will you still gonna help people because some people is your business and some people is not. So you know you'll be all right. Now it says. Rather, you still need, okay, this says this is not the time to paper over cracks or to simply pretend that everything is okay because it's not. And you, the spirit said you got to get, <laughs> when I said because it's not, that was the spirit. And <laughs> I'm sorry you're coming out like that. And because you have to take, you, 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 you have to get all of that out of you, collective. You got to do some shadow work. Okay, you you have to um you gotta go into those compartments where you store stuff at because you don't want to talk about it, and you gotta talk about it to heal yourself because what we doing is remember we making space, remember, and so even in those dark shadows where you think you still hiding stuff and you you ain't necessarily hiding it but you just don't want to talk about it but it, it hurts you and no you gotta speak to it no because even if even if you don't think so it still holds space. Okay, it's still holding space. You gotta let it go. All right, so um, then remind yourself that anything is possible if you believe it. See, told you. This is also a time to surrender and wait to hear guidance from the universe. Um, powerful insights can be had. If you know someone or something really isn't good for you, this card is a reminder to surrender to the energy then. Surrender to what you know, okay? Even if it hurts. Even if it hurts to let them go. Even if you're gonna be lonely, okay? Cause like, you're not lonely, I'm right here. I'm right here, but I feel you though. As a collective, it does get kind of lonely sometimes because we're light, light workers and star seeds, and we shine light. 
You understand what I'm saying? And we shine light in the areas that's dark. A light area doesn't need light. So oftentimes we are around a lot of people who are dark and it feels lonely. But I'm telling you that that's a part of your assignment, collective. Okay? When it's time to link up with with another collective or another light worker or another star C, you do so. You 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 are put in that position and maybe you need to make more time for that. I'm, I'm going to create some events for us. But, you know, it's important to understand that you're not really alone. You're just doing the duty. You Your life is to serve collective. Hey, okay. Now, powerful insight. You just got to learn how to do it the right way. All right. So powerful insights can be had. If you know some, oh, yeah, I read that part. So start to work on your belief in your dreams. So you are ready when the time comes. Because you are time, collective. Okay? When one is healed, all is healed. Okay? Now it's time to let go of the past. You are about to turn the corner. You need more time to heal. You got a deal. Okay? Think about how the situation will look if everyone were healed, collective. Because you're very close to your goal. Very close to your goal. And you got to do everything that we talked about in the first 20 minutes of this video. Now I'm about to pull some tarot. And I said three cards. The spirit really wanted me to do the tarot. Okay? That's why I had them in my hand like that when I first started talking about them. And nigga, I got this same, same like the screen got stuck. That was the spirit. That was the spirit. Okay? I want to pull three cards. But we never know, child. Okay? So I'm just being used. Child, I'm just being used, child. I don't ever be knowing. I be like, Lord, I'm tired. He be like, here go a second wing. Child. Lord have mercy. Then I said I was tired. All right. All right. All right. All right. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week. Ooh, these cars smell good. Yes. Yes, for the aromatherapy essential oils they got on them. Hallelujah. They smell good. Yes. Oh. I got some scent bricks for you guys, too. It comes in a little kit with, with a candle. Um, Uh-oh. And the six, the scent brick, okay, the whole kit is $15, so just let me know if you want it or not. Let's pull some set mm -hmm. mm -hmm. My song don't got nothing to do with the cards. I just like the hum. <laughs> okay, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Uh-oh, Judgment in reverse. What are we doing here? The, the tower in reverse. Okay, Lord, let me see. <gasps> the Page of Pentacles in reverse. What is going on? Is my whole deck reversed? Reverse. 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 What is going on? Look, nope. That's just the story. Look, I got cards to slip up. That's just the story. Oh, no. Okay, well, let's see what's going on. Okay, your pentacles. The ace of pentacles is in reverse. Before I even get into the book, your ace of pentacles is in reverse, so you, your money is being held back. You are in front of it, okay? Judgment. You got the karma. Like we've been talking about, you hold the justice. It's like, hey, listen, okay? Um, either you is or either you ain't type of thing. You are responsible enough, the spirit says, to make your decisions based off of your emotions. A lot of times, people, all our life, people have told us, don't make decisions based off of your emotions. Well, collective, you ain't normal. You understand what I'm saying? You're not normal at all collective so you can you have uh, you have earned the ability the the the, the opportunity the uh, uh the space the the passage the yeah to go off your emotions you good you can't speak for them other people you're not like them and then you had a tower moment but the tower moment is in reverse and so it's like what's i don't know your crown done fell off you got lightning coming there's a breakthrough trying to happen it's a break. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's a breakthrough. <laughs> it's a breakthrough trying to happen. What we just talking about that, Collector? We were just talking about that little breakthrough. Trying to get through. God, we got to remove some stuff. Let me see. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So let's see what this is. What the, what the, what the, what the, because why is that Pentacles in reverse? Ooh. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Okay. So the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. It's be cautious about accepting or making an offer related to your finances or career, okay? Be cautious about accepting or making an offer related to your finances or career. The timing isn't right, and it may not come to fruition as expected. Remember, we were just talking about that. Assess the feasibility of your idea before proceeding. Shad, God done said exactly these cut law. 
Okay, be cautious. Right now, you got to make that plan, remember? Right now, you have to allow God to tell you how to be responsible with um, with sharing your abundance. That's what that's all about. Don't do nothing. No, even with the people, you want to buy something? No, you got what you need right now. Just cross your teeth, dot your ass, make the plan. And if you do need something else, collective, that's a part of the plan. Put it on the paper, okay? All right. Judgment. Let's see what the judgment is about. What you talking about? What you talking about? Come on, spirit. Confirm me. Confirm me, spirit. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. I ain't got no sense, y'all. And if you continue to watch me, then you will learn that. Okay? And I don't really want no sense because sense how you think it too damn much. Now let me stop. Let me stop. All right. So judgment is in the reverse position too. Now, you may be troubled by your past actions and choices and their consequences for the present. You may be troubled by your past actions and choices and their consequences for the present. Self-doubt, self-doubt and judgment are holding you back. Ain't nobody worried about what you did back then, but you and them people that's supposed to be against you so you can go through and be, be stronger for getting through them. Ain't nobody worried about what you did. Duh, you made a mistake. Hey, we all did. You was doing stuff wrong. We all did. You accept that. Say that to yourself. Right now, I did it wrong. I made mistakes. I fucked up. I fucked up in the past. But this is not why you're getting what you're getting right now. Nothing is happening to you, collective. Nothing is happening to you right now. You already got your you already got your, your karma. Well, this is a karmic season. So that's why you have to apologize and make amends with people. But you already you ain't nothing happening to you. You in your own way. You like, oh maybe I don't deserve it. No, you do. It's in the room, fam. Chill. Like it's in the room, okay? It's in the room. And it says, um, you are close to a major shift. You just need to get out of your own dang own way. You got the justice. Can you see? Look at this card in the upright position. You see this, Collector? Look at this. You got the trumpet is blowing for you, Collective. Look at you receiving your abundance. You understand what I'm saying? Look at that. You in a boat. You sailing. You understand? But in this in this reverse position, you ain't got none of that. You giving it back. What you doing? You don't think you deserve it or something? Stop. You collective, don't do that. Don't do that, collective. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do don't, don't do that. You in your business too much. Don't do that. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> I was trying to find a way to stick that part in it. Y'all saw the little um video. Don't worry about it. All right. So the tower. Let's see what the tower's talking about. We ain't talking about the tower and it's in the and it's in um the reverse position. What? What are you talking about? What is happening now? Ain't it? And what is happening now? What is falling now? Lord. No, it's a transformation. Don't worry about it. I was just being dramatic and playing. I planned too much. Alright. So um in the reverse position, yep, yeah, it says do not resist the change. Even if you see this change as unwanted. So some of us going through some stuff that we're already be we like, um, over it i just nope i don't even want to you know what lord that's too hard anyway i paid enough of my dues i ain't finna pay no more i just want to sit over here collect don't be lazy don't be lazy collector you hear me don't mean you gotta just a little bit more because i swear i swear the last past week been hard it's i don't know what even in my house it be, I've been ready to ring them kids neck do you hear me and it ain't got nothing to do with it Listen, it really don't got nothing to do with what I can really see. I really just feel the karmic energy. I feel like just straighten it up a little bit more. Just put some more order in the house. That's all I'm doing to you. I'm making you put more order in the house. Don't worry about it. You don't want to go through this, but you need to go through this. You'll be all right. That's what I feel, if I can be honest. So this makes so much sense right now, right? When it talks about the, even if you see this change as an unwanted change, it makes so much sense. It's important to let it run its course, though. The change is serving an important purpose in creating the opportunity for deep transformation. And let me let me add on to that, right? Because um, the spirit the spirit told me uh, maybe it was last week. I'm not sure. I'm not sure when it was a few days. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But anyway, so the spirit told me that we are in this season, this karmic season. Also, when it when it talks about us being in the karmic season, right? We are in this karmic karmic season because. The, um, the universe is still trying to shake the rest of the stuff off of us, okay? The, and what I mean by the rest of the stuff is 
the you, you're in a cycle. Life is a cycle. So it goes around and around and around. Nothing changes in it but you. Okay. And so, and why I say that is because you change the way you react to the situations and the people, places, and things when it comes back around again. Make sense? So in this season right here, what the universe is doing, we're well aware. We're totally open. We all up in our spirit. So it feels different, but it's not different. You are aware now, you're more conscious. And so what the spirit is ultimately doing is convicting you. So it's putting you back in those situations again. It's putting you back in those places again. And it's giving you a chance to convict yourself like, nah, I ain't gonna do it. Nah, I did this before. Nah, I remember how that felt. Nope, I ain't gonna do it. Okay, yeah, okay, I missed that opportunity before. Let me go ahead and, so that's what's happening right now, collective. So that makes perfect sense about that tower moment in the car being in reverse because you blocking it, okay? You're blocking it in reverse. In the upright position, you letting that baby fall. Excuse me. Go and get out of my way so I can uh, receive what I need to receive. And the overall outcome of this situation, collective, okay? It's the page of pentacles in reverse. Because the money is here. You got the page of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. Okay, look, listen. The other, I mean, the abundance is here, collective. You don't have to worry about that. The only thing you need to worry about, fam, is getting out your way. I mean, shit. That's it. It means... A, me too. I'm not preaching to the choir. I'm not preaching to y'all. Okay. So this this page of pentacles is in reverse. You see it? And in the upright position, she got her pentacles right in her hand. She happy. She on her way. She got the fruits, got wisdom, got the crown on. Okay. Even if you are a dude, just make this a dude. You understand? He got the pentacles in his hand. He got the crown on. He got the wisdom in his head, the fruits. Okay. Bearing fruits. Okay. But it's in the reverse position. What's going on? All right. Hate it, man. Okay. You are holding back from expressing your truth. You don't want nobody to think you crazy or something. Collect up. Let me see. Because I can do that now. Y'all seen them, okay? Yeah, let me see. I don't feel like they know. I'm already short. Uh, you don't want nobody to see how crazy you are. They crazy? That way you can't show you're crazy. Oh, you see what I'm saying? And your crazy is for righteousness. Your crazy is for purpose and passion and God and to serve humanity. And no other people crazy is just crazy. You feel what I'm saying? So what, why you don't want to show y'all? Everybody else showing they crazy. Now that's my way of telling you to get out your way. Okay. Because I'm saying, I mean, I know I'm crazy. I listen. Okay. Uh, but you holding back from expressing your truth, especially in the public forum. Right? This was me a couple weeks ago. A couple, a few weeks ago, y'all ain't see these cards. And I only talked about it on my radio show. That's it. Y'all ain't see these damn cards. I didn't, I'm not coming to tell y'all that I'm a prophet. Because if something don't go your way, you're going to swear up and down I lied. You understand what I'm saying? No, that ain't what we doing today. We ain't doing that no more. Because I was only standing in my own way doing that. And I'm not allowing you to do it anymore. Tell me the craziest thing you know how to do. How can you join the boot camp? I got you. That's for you. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, yep, I got y'all. Um, you gotta do it. You gotta step out of your comfort zone. You gotta be in front of the people and let them know what you got going on. And, and listen, the best way because we be so stuck on. Let me finish this. You prefer to express your thoughts and opinions privately or anonymously. Let go of your fear and shout your message from the rooftops. Do rooftops is what it say. Got it. Got an exclamation point. Say it. It said. It said rooftops. <laughs> Cause you gotta do it. Now let me tell you something about holding your truth back. Okay. You lying to yourself. You lying to yourself. And the reason why you cannot receive the abundance the way that you want to receive it, even if it is in a room, is because you're scared. You still got that little bit of thing that you're hiding behind. I don't know how small it is. It could be it could be so small as letting somebody see that you wear stones around your neck but for protection and you spiritual. It could be so small as that because now's the season where you have to reveal your all. That's the only way that you are going to receive your all is to reveal your all. Because if you reveal your all, you create space to receive much abundance. And so you feel what I'm saying? Now... Let me tell you something about the views and the likes and how many people that's going to come your way. Don't count on these SEOs. Don't count on the algorithms. Don't count on the likes or the views. Don't count on none of that stuff. Okay? Simply because the collective is full of 144,000. That's it. That's it. That's it. 
you are a part of the collective. You are here to raise and keep the vibrations high of humanity, but especially the collective group of people. We are going to be your customers. We are going to work within. We do that. And then we reach out and we help other people outside of the collective. And, you know, but then we come back to, to generate and, and fellowship. And then we go out and we go out and reach other people. But you cannot set your, your prosperity. You cannot base your abundance. You cannot base that stuff on the rest of the world. If it's only 144,000 of us, okay, if you got a 1,000 likes on something, Okay, I can guarantee you that ain't the collector. That whole a thousand is not the collector. It's not. It's other people who was just looking. It's other people who was just so you cannot base your abundance and your prosperity or what you're supposed to be doing off of this worldly stuff. That's worldly stuff. We can't do that. Okay, you just gotta do it. Don't stop creating content because you feel like you only you don't got enough subscribers. You one day, one day you're gonna have enough subscribers and then you ain't gonna have no content. Okay, so you got to keep moving like you know that 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 you know. Listen, don't, don't be scared. To, you, whoever that crazy person is in, in the back of your head, whoever that crazy person is that you try, you know, you think is crazy. Crazy is a, what you call it, today. Okay, whoever that crazy person is, you thinking you ain't supposed to let that person out. You supposed to let them free. You supposed to let them free. And that's a part of you now receive your abundance. The other part is calming, and the other part is making the plan, okay? The other part is knowing that's your time. The other part is being in alignment. The other part is balancing your energy. There's a lot of parts to this, and I don't mind explaining them again if you, you need me to, okay? But listen, if you feel compelled to donate a dollar or two to my cash app because you found this reading or this information on Manifesting Monday um, very, very, very beneficial to your life and career, then do so. Share that energy with me. Definitely. If you need a private reading, a one-on-one -on -one reading, my email is in the status. You can definitely hit me up via email. My online store is being rebranded, so that's not going to launch until November. But in the meantime, in between time, you already know. I'm Prophetess. Prophetess Queen X. Who are you? Who are you? All right? It's the question. And when you find out, put it under there. Put it under there so I can see who you is supernaturally. Alright, so we can say, Mighty Morphin Power Ranger. Pa no, <laughs> y'all know I'm silly by now. Okay, well, I love you, collective. If ain't nobody gonna tell you all day or the rest of the week, just come back and hear me say it again. I love you. I, for real. I don't gotta know you. I ain't gotta ever had hugged you before. You ain't ever, you ain't even gotta donate. I love you regardless. You feel what I'm saying? You ain't gotta book a session. You ain't gotta do none of that. You just keep on come view this video if you want to. I love you. Okay? Alright. And you have an amazing rest of your week. And plan. Plan. Love and light.